I just got a package. I'm gonna try on this outfit. Um, I've been shopping a lot lately, like like usual, but I've been shopping a little bit more, especially when school is about to start back up. So I got some clothes for that. But everything's coming like slowly in. So I'm trying to, I was gonna wait to try this on. Hold up. Let me just try it on now. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I just got to work. And today has been a bad day. Like, with the customers. Also, ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a, So this is what I got. Um, and I love that. This is cute. So I got two outfits from, I mean, it's one outfit, but it's separate. It says, please take care of your items when trying on. Make sure they remain makeup free, fake tan, and stain free. We may not be able to accept your return. All right, so um, but anyway. Today's been a bad day. Um, it's been a lot going on, but the main thing that really like got under my skin was one of our vendors. So, me and my mom own a marketplace. So we have vendors and all that. You guys already know. If you haven't seen the vlogs, I'll tag it so you guys can see what it is, get familiar and all that. So one of these particular vendors. So hold on, let me do a little backstory. The venue that we're at, this one that we're doing it L in January 27th um, is small so a food truck cannot fit in there right but on our application we do have food truck options and payment options for a food truck remember that but mind you at our other spot that we had um, it was huge and I love that spot the lady who she, I don't know. She does not like us. Of, she don't like us. Let's be honest. Maybe I, I don't think she like our crowd. Um, yeah, I think she prefer older people. And we had, it was a nice turnout. But anyway, she didn't like us. She would not give us another chance. So we're at a smaller spot. We're trying to figure out a new area. But for right now, this is our home right now, right? So it's small. <laughs> I'm trying to insert some pictures or some videos for you guys. You can see, like the lot is big, but the entrance is small. Like only cars can fit. And this lady, her food truck was, is huge, right? So I don't know how it slipped through the cracks, but anyway, she got she paid in the paying for she paid her fee, and she paid this probably like last month, right? Last month I sent her a message, right? I said, I don't know if saying it right. I sent her a message saying like, oh, I saw that you pay, blah, 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 but we cannot fit a food truck at this location. She didn't respond till today. And she was not nice. Um, but mind you, me and my mom plan was planning on giving her money back anyway, so we weren't really stressing it. It actually slipped our mind again. We forgot that we had to send this, money, her, this woman her money back. So when she was contacted, she sent paragraphs. Mind you, I'm at work. So you can't really be on your phone, but I'm still, you know, answering. I, I have that bad. I'm still answering messages. So I answered her message, and then she said, "Oh, um, she said, well, I paid this. I already paid. Uh, I see you don't sell food trucks, blah blah blah." So I just immediately sent her money back, and then sent a screenshot to let her know I sent her money back. Cause and then she sends paragraphs. Now she's upset. She said, "This is bad business." I'm always asking some question and you gave me my money back. This bad communication, blah blah blah. And mind you, I'm working, so I'm reading and all this. I'm like, oh my god, I cannot, I can't believe she's mad about that. So I apologize for that, even though, whatever. So I apologize. And it's vice. She was saying, I don't beg for nothing. Um, I'm, I'm telling all my friends that's canceled and don't come. I brought you two vendors and you better give their money back. And like, it was just bad. So we were going back and forth, and then I said, ma'am, I told you earlier in the, the the original, the first message, I was telling her that we only sell food carts, not trucks. It was just a bad all around. So long story short, she goes on Instagram tagging me on mom's business, 
say how we have bad communication, don't work with them, I'm done. Back to back to like messages, 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 messages. I mean, I'm um, tags and comments on our videos. Of course, we had to, we had to block her. And then next you know, her friend who she held, told, he was rude, he was rude as hell. He said, I want my money back now. But mind you, it was just a lot. It was a lot going on today, all over because whatever. I'm 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 just saying it was. It, I don't know why I let it affect me so much. And I'm like, we need to do better as a people. Like, the thing they can talk to us any type of way, and literally, it's just hard to bite your tongue. Anyway, um, so, so yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> um, I wanted to try this out. Let's see. Alright, so now that I've been to and told you guys why, but mind you, it was more stuff going on today, but that was like the icing on the cake, y'all. That was the icing on the cake. I don't know why I let it affect me so much, but I did. So, anyway. This is what I'm going to try on real quick. Um, this is from House of CD. I don't know how they're sizing works but the packaging is A1. Everything's folded. Oh, I'm, I think I'm probably glad I got a large. You know, this is, you can tell this is good quality. You can tell. Is this? The material. You know, I'm always just, usually always buying like cheap clothes like Shein clothes and like now I want to start buying more expensive clothes and you can tell the difference when you spend money what are you doing I'm sorry it's my dog right here I love how everything is wrapped like okay a whole experience opening this like I love it all right let's try this on because I've been I feel stretchy the material is amazing okay so let's try this on because I've been really really trying I don't know why I just smelled it but anyway let's try this on real quick you guys know I'm obsessed with two piece sets like even if it's a two piece it's gonna be mine <laughs> it's gonna be mine like no if ands or buts. All right. Hopefully I like this. I mean, like, hopefully I like the fit and all that. So let's see. I don't think I gained it. Hopefully I didn't gain anything. Okay. And um, unfortunately, it was so many bad reviews about this. So I was really skeptical of buying it, but. It, I think it's cute. I don't know what the everybody was talking about, actually. I think I could fit a, a medium. I could have got a medium in this. Okay, so let me show you. I'm just talking. Let me show you guys. So this is, yeah, definitely, I could have definitely got a medium. This is so cute, y'all. House of CB. And mind you, I'm trying to, well, I am keeper. I'm obsessed actually. Actually. And it's not black. You guys know I'm always getting black. It's not black. It is busy day. I've just made it to my appointment. Getting the car serviced. This is the newest piece. Impulse buy. I still have the thing on it. This place is a whole vibe. You know the music they're playing? I'm here for Hold on, y'all. I don't know if they get it over on me. Every time I go here, 
they don't tell me what's wrong with the car. Like for instance, one time I paid to get the oil change, right? Because apparently you supposed to do it every six months or something like that. So I paid for that, right? And then they give you a paper telling you everything. And, but they didn't tell me what was wrong with the car. So like a week later, my tire blew out. And I'm like, shouldn't they tell me that? Cause they, you know what I mean? Like they should say, oh, this one needs to be replaced. They never tell me anything. And then the most recent one, um, I got my car service. And mind you, they give the paper. And then I'm telling you, not, late, not even like a month later, my battery died. Now I know that's something I should be paying attention to, but I'm thinking like, they should tell me this and warn me. And the last time I got my car from here, got my car, the oil chains, they said that, oh, my brakes are bad. I need it to be replaced immediately. Hold on. Said, like I need my um, brakes to be replaced. And then he said it was gonna be like $600 to replace it. And I'm like, oh my God, I do not wanna pay that, right? So I went to a second dealer, right? I went to like a small one in the hood. And then he checked it and he said, your brakes are fine. You have a few more months or a year on these brakes. And I'm like, are you serious? So literally every time I come here, I love this place though. It's always something. Like you guys see I'm here now. It's always something. Oh, let's go inside because it's cold as hell. I'm still here, y'all. It's like four hours. So they had a little espresso. I don't know if I need more caffeine. I already had caffeine, so let's get some hot chocolate or something. So I'm still here, I'm on live now, and I got some hot chocolate. I wanted some coffee, but I'm like, I already had a matcha earlier and I do not need any more caffeine. Also, I'm starting to be so obsessed with this purse. I should show you, like do like a review. I bought this on sale and I didn't think I would like it so much. This is my first time wearing it out and it's so freaking cute. I still got the little girl boy tag on it. Like, this is so cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. A structure bag, and it comes with an extra strap. I doubt if I ever use that strap. This is really cute. Okay, I hope oh my god, this bag rather die. Oh, I thought I charged it. So, I am back. I want to show you what I just got. This is going to be an unboxing. I kept it in the dust bag. So let me just show you. I do have a little shopping problem. We all know that. <laughs> we can hear you. So I just want to show you. So I want to show you guys the newest addition to the family. Mind you, I just got it back. I know for my birthday. But yeah. This is different. So this is the Kirk Gagger bag. And it comes in three different colors. So you can get the black with the gold or silver. Or I got the I got the matte black. Because I feel like this can go with literally anything. Just really starting to get into his bags. My bag that I wear for school every day is a Kirk Gagger bag. And one thing that I really love about it. Like this is real leather. So this is real leather. And it's made from recycled leather. So it's like, you know, and I also, I have a little soft spot for, like, I don't want to say hand, like, I don't want to say hand-me-downs. It's more so, like, pre-owned items. I have a soft spot for that. You guys already know. So this is how it looks inside. I already took the plastic off the handles. I'm going to put the notes in the name of this bag. Kingston? Kingston? 
okay and also the same style it has a smaller size um they have a rainbow color one but you guys know black is just my thing you guys know i'm obsessed with black too like i love wearing black i'm so spacious inside so i look inside and i'm gonna keep the plastic i'm gonna keep the paper inside to keep the shape for a minute it just looks so expensive let me stand up because hold on it looks like a chanel bag y'all you can wear it like this or like this most likely this is cute like i'm so obsessed with it And I feel like the matte black, it makes it like I can wear it with any color. So I'm going to back in this dust bag. Um, and then I need to actually organize everything. I'll probably just put it in my little thing right here. That's where I put all my purses at. I can't wait to wear it actually. I cannot wait to wear it. And then last night, you guys know it was New Year's Eve. I went out. I had fun. I had fun. I know last night I did like a uh, get unready with me. I need to edit that because I know I was talking. Like, I, I, I haven't even edited those videos yet, but I know I was talking some stuff. I was actually venting like I usually do. I said some stuff when I was getting unready that I didn't like that happened. But then I feel like now I have some time to think and I find, I'm like, maybe I overreacted. So. Yeah, when I edit that part, I'm probably going to take off the part where I was venting because I know I was saying a lot of stuff. And actually, I don't even know if I'm adding this to that vlog. I don't know. But all of my birthday vlogs are done. <laughs> Vlogmas is done. All those videos are out. So we're back to regular schedule. I have two more weeks left of freedom as in school starts back up. So I am going to... I'm going to utilize that. I'm kind of upset that I did not buy any organizers before. So I can have it now and be ready to organize and all that. Because that's what I want to do. I want to redo my closet. Now, you guys know I have a lot of more. Actually, I have yeah, too much. I have a lot more clothes. I want to get rid of clothes I don't wear. And also, my closet is small. So, I saw this girl organize her closet. She had these little, she had like cute little organizers. So, I'll probably order that right now, actually. Go to my room and we'll order that. And hopefully it'll be ready by the time for me to clean up and organize everything. Because I have clothes literally everywhere. So, I have so much stuff to do, y'all. Alright. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't know if I'm putting this in the beginning or in. Knowing me, um, we're going to figure it out. See ya. Okay, you see this section? I need to really do some magic. I just bought this new thing off of Amazon, so I'm gonna try to set it up. So hold on, let me. Okay. It doesn't come with no picture or anything, so. Let's see. Okay, so now that I am lining them up, I have too many. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's put the Gucci up here. And then the Prada, squeeze that in here. Okay, it is cute. I like it. I need to organize it better, but this is just a quick way of how I did it. All of my favorites. It's cute. But if you do purchase one, be careful because like I said, I broke it. <laughs> 